Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not going to back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and least dorky guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. Hey everyone, this is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. No! Uh, party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! Garbage is that. Slight over. We'll put on something from this century. Something really popping. Kirsten, you're a genius. Jody, you want one? No, thanks. I, I, I don't drink, so... <laughs> you don't know what you're missing, girl. After three or four beers, you'll see the world in a whole new light.
conditioner. <laughs> Just got a cold blast. Matt, Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I, I, I never get to see people my age. I, I suppose I've gotten used to it. So, you work with Kirsten's mother? Yeah. We work in the, in the same lab. She thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age, so... Uh, here I am. <laughs> I used to live in, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? New York? Man, I love New York. It's awesome. I went there once and it blew me away. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. And you, what, what are you into? It's gonna sound really boring. I, I like to read and I like sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't. I can't leave the base, so it, it sort of limits things. Can I... can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit 4? I sort of... I have a, a gift. A link with an entity. An entity? You mean... you mean a ghost or something like that? I know this is gonna sound really crazy, but it's kind of like a like an invisible presence that follows me. Is it uh, is it here now? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You you really got me going that way. I was thinking you were completely nuts or something. <laughs> oh, slow dance. Are you up for it? Sure. I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know? Do you say that to all the girls you meet? <laughs> you're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. I think you're pretty special, too. Thanks for the dance, Matt, but I, I think I'll pass. I can't keep up with you. Guys, guys, why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, <laughs> Great no, idea. no, I, I'd pay to see that. Uh, forget it, it's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody, show us what you can do. Okay, Jody, you up for demonstration? No, no, no. I, I, I don't have, I don't have powers. 
I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right, okay, guys. It's time to eat that delicious cake and, most important, to open my birthday gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Aw, oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed! Now you can stop stealing your mom's. <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection. Uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening, begging for it. Oh, and she's a slut too. I never wanted to invite her, my mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut, a slut and a witch. We should like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mistress of the obscure darkness, bring forth your mighty power. <laughs> please, please let me Smells out. From the first moment I saw I'm her. begging you, please let me out. Please. Did someone say cake? Please, no. I want to get out. Please, I want to get out. I'm begging yeah, you, please let me out. out. <laughs> Get me out of here, please. <laughs> It's your fault we're in trouble, so cut it out! He's replacing Dr. Matthews. He's the one who's gonna be taking care of me from now on. He seems really nice. Go on, he wants to meet you. Go on, hurry up. I'll be right here, sweetheart.
Hello, Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. They're pretty boring books. To be honest, I haven't read them all. How about you? You like to read? That's a photo of a paranormal event I studied. That table moved five millimeters in three days on its own. We filmed it and sped up the images so we could see the movement. Interesting, huh? You can sit down if you like. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him for me? If I take a look. So, this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? Tell him to do something.
You tell him what to do, and it happens. I don't tell Aiden what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave, too. It can be really scary sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monsters. <laughs>